If you are setting up your display on a deserted island and you need to find the center of a board but you don't have a tape measure, all you have to do is find the balance point and that tells you where the center of the board is. So this is the center. Now obviously you can't have any holes in the board otherwise the, the, the weight will be off but just find the balance point and you'll have the center of the board. Okay. I know. I know. I mean, who's going to be setting up their display on a deserted island without a tape measure? <laughs> Welcome to Kenneth Spader Christmas. It's another project day. Today I'm going to work on the wall washer. Now if you've seen any of the recent videos you know the wall washer just didn't work out this year. I mean by itself it may be fine but with other pixels that are kind of pointed straight at you the wall washer just kind of gets washed away. I'm replacing the pixels with these and they are just a single strip pixel uh, encased in epoxy and in this little plastic mounting bracket thing and then actually there's a piece of padding a little sticky there too. Anyway, I'm going to put these on there but the first thing I needed to figure out was should I do them horizontally or should I do them vertically like this. Now obviously if I did them like this there's going to be more pixels. If I do them like this less pixels um but there's still you know there's three leds in here so each one is going to still put out quite a bit of light so i did a little test i put 20 pixels like this on one board and then i put 20 pixels like this on another board now obviously they're not going to be the same length but i just wanted to see what they would look like uh, from a distance so i put them i put 20 on each board and then i put them across the yard and set them up to see what it looked like To run this test, I used a Falcon F16 V3, 75 foot of ethernet cable, and a differential receiver. I'll recreate that in here because it's hard to see outside in the dark. I've got a power supply and a differential receiver board in this CG1500 enclosure. I connected ports one and four on the differential receiver. So when I first connected this up, all the lights turned on white. On the string ports page, I am going to set these up on port 13 and port 16. I'm using port 1 and port 4 on the differential receiver and this is just easy. I'm not using anything down here. I've got 20 pixels on port 13 and 20 pixels on port 16. And you'll notice the lights are all white. So if we go to we go to the serial outputs page, go to set this for pixel data, set that for 13, and go here and set that for 16, and we update that. The lights turn off. So now if we go to X lights, what I did was set up a just a single line of 20 pixels here, and then I have another single line of 20 pixels here and we will go to the sequencer and pull out a bar pattern let's go to the right let's change this to five let's add some green okay so we have green red and white going across here so let's output this and we have green, red, white, and blue, no green. So these must be probably our BG. Let's try that. And we get green. Okay, so those are our BG pixels. So let's change this one too. We will update. So now, if we just copy this down, we get lights. That's the setup. Got it all working. 
For this prop, I'm going to mount the pixels horizontally. So the wall washer is made up of three 10 foot panels and the center panel just happens to be exactly 10 feet. Now the other outer panels um, are a little bit longer by about an inch. So I decided to start in the center, work my way out on the center board and, and that matches perfectly. And then on the outer boards, I just have to match up where they touch the, the center board and then they can go out. They don't have to go out all the way to the end on either board. So that's, that's why I'm working from center out. These pixels are center to center about six inches apart. So from here to here, there's about six inches. Now there's a little play in there so you can, you can adjust the, the actual distance, but it's about six inches. So I found the center of the middle board and measured three inches on either side of that. So the middle LED in each pixel will be on those three inch lines. And then from there, I'll measure six inches out from, from then on. So I ran a line down the center of the board and then, then marked it every six inches. So to attach the pixels to the board, I'm using my favorite adhesive. Using the same setup that I did for the test, I'm uh, feeding the pixels from the left side, left side only. Uh, no power injection. Now, I did run them at 100% and noticed that at the end of the third panel, the lights were kind of starting to turn yellow a little bit. So to fix that, I would either inject power or you reduce brightness. And I'm not gonna run them at 100%, probably about 50%. Uh, or even less than that, but at 50% they seem to be working just fine. I believe this will work for what I'm using it for anyway, and that does it for all the pixel retrofitting this year. <laughs> now I get to start working on some new stuff. So I'm headed out to my local home improvement warehouse for some materials. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. And all the dogs run. Jet flying over. There's so many cars going back.